Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Power of number seven. Number 10. And number five. Okay. Going to the number 22. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. Others of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. You may also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Others of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Strong Aquarius energy coming back in again through the number 17. Aries energy coming in through the number zero and also the number one, but Gemini Energy again, along with Virgo, coming in through the number one as well. More Capricorn through the number 15. Scorpio energy coming back in through the number 20. You could be dealing with one of the other fixed signs of the Zodiac. That would include Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, again, Scorpio. Let's see if I missed any. Uh, oh, and others of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or possibly a Capricorn born in the month of December. You might have been born in 1950, 1951, 1952, or 1957 for my more mature audience. Others of you could, be, could have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, and or possibly 1975. You could be 20, 21, 25, 27, 50, 51, 52, or maybe even 57 years of age. So. Power of number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. Messages from your specific person. And 22. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? From Scorpio's person unto them, show me what's up. Ah, this person sitting on the fence. Nine of Wands, they could be playing the victim or the wounded warrior in a particular situation. They're wanting to take a leap of faith, possibly dive back into the deep end with you, Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries. Also got Aries Leo Sag coming in through the Nine of Wands. So why are they sitting on the fence right now? Mm, okay, they're sitting on the fence in their thoughts because it is about returning back to you. Six of Cups, blast from the past energy. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So... Let's see here. Let's see how they're romantically feeling if they're all up in their thoughts. Mm. They're reminiscing or thinking about the fact of, you know, the type of effort that they had put into the connection. It says, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So if they're curious or thinking like, you know, or just thinking in general, excuse me, not the word curious. You know what? This noise outside is kind of distracting me in my thought process. I'm going to kind of see if I can tune up the noise a little bit. A little bit better. Okay. So basically, they're reflecting 
on the fact the type of effort that they put in, which probably wasn't much. You know, why are they wanting to work on the partnership? That's what I'm going to ask spirit next. Why is it so important? Why are they so, you know, in their mind, in their thoughts? Because mm, they are probably thinking they could have had it all with you, Scorpio. Got the sun card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Mm. They even have an undercurrent of jealousy. Knight of Swords. They could be worried that somebody's going to steal you away. Even if they're with a third party, it doesn't matter. Their thoughts are their thoughts, and their thoughts are ruminating back to the past and the type of effort that they put in or the effort that they didn't put in. And realizing, like, you know, I didn't fight for the relationship. I didn't fight for the connection. They just kind of let everything go. You know, without really thinking things through. They should have done something more in order to win you over. Five of Swords, you know. Five of Swords can talk about, you know, on a negative aspect, trying to get the one up on you or uh, tug of war, tit for tat. Um, they may even be reflecting on, you know, the fact that they played mind games with you. <laughs> But that might be a rarity. Most narcissistic people do not reflect. They don't reflect on how they hurt you. They don't. So. Why is it important for this person to come back? Why is it important? Because they want to have a fresh new start, a brand new beginning, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I think this is more or less the new version of them. Why do they want this new beginning? Well, power of number one, one represents a new beginning. Because this is more or less about focused intention. And some of you Scorpios are manifesting for this person to come back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Healing and mending a broken heart. They're also going to go through, if they're going, you know, if they're with a third party, they're going to end up going through a breakup or a split, separation, or divorce. So they're sitting on the fence about a third party, then reflecting on the fact of, wow, you know, again, I didn't give Scorpio, I didn't give Scorpio a chance. I could have done better. I could have put more effort into the connection. I feel like, I'm going to ask Spirit this because what I'm hearing is I feel like they go through this almost every single day now where they're ruminating back to their, you know, their thoughts, how they treated you. They could have done better. Trusted ancestors, do they think of Scorpio like in this manner every single day? Yes, they do. Ace of Swords. Every single day, the energy hits them up. Why are they having such a difficult time coming forward to Scorpio? Why are they having such a difficult time? <sighs> Choices, decisions, they were blindsided to the truth. But again, I think they're fearful that there's somebody else. When they don't even have the facts. And they're also afraid of rejection. They are so deeply afraid that you are going to say no. That you're going to say no to them. I'm going to adjust this a bit. They're afraid that you're going to say no. And that you'll never love them again. Are they worried that Scorpio will not love them? Now I've got a yes card, chariot card, or that you've moved on, that you've moved on, that some of them feel like they blew their chance with you. Yeah, 
I, I feel this energy. I mean, this is a card I want to see, but it came up technically the re, in the reverse of my hands. Ace of Cups. They're afraid that they have blown their chances with you and that you're not going to love them the same way, that you're not going to be giddy over them or show them romantic affection. This person is highly insecure right now. How do they feel towards you? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is, you know, foundation, structure, stability, marriage, happier times, you know, um, that they didn't do anything in order to build up to this, to this level. So the thoughts of you are just hitting them up constantly 24 seven. Let's go into, uh, love messages I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. Basically their approach, you know, their approach and their excuse and how they just abruptly shut everything down, closed up shop with this relationship. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. I'm secretly obsessed with you. I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. They're insecure. And the reason for that insecurity is that they're so afraid that you're going to reject them. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Yeah, because you're the real deal, Scorpio. You're, you're a thousand percent, not a hundred percent. You're a thousand percent. Things move so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feeling for you. They never experienced real love until they met you. And you would think that when somebody's experiencing real love, like, why would you let that go? right? Why would you just drop it like a hot potato? You'd be surprised, everybody, you know, how people handle feelings. Not everybody is comfortable with feelings. I mean, they're not comfortable. People are not comfortable with being their true authentic self. We're not programmed to be our true authentic self. We're programmed by so many things in the world. We're programmed by our family. We're programmed by politics. We're programmed by religion. We're programmed, program, program, program. We have no clue how to be our true authentic self. It takes months, years. To come into our full awareness. So I do feel that this person of yours, they battled on a deeper level. I'm not saying that their actions need to be brushed under the rug because, you know, they're an adult and they can make adult decisions, but the way they handle the breakup was not the adult thing to do. They were looking for a way out at that time because... Again, they didn't know how to handle these emotions. And so taking you for granted, a lot of them acted like high schoolers, you know, just their approach and how they just dropped everything. It's just like none of it even made sense. 
And a lot of you had suspicions that there was a third party. And yeah, a lot of your intuition was accurate, Scorpio. A lot of it had to do with the third party. Now they're insecure. Now they don't know. They have to own up to where they feel sure about the relationship. It's more or less them feeling sure about themselves. I think this person knows deep down inside that you're going to want some real reasoning or explanation. Like you're going to want to know the absolute truth. Like why they did what they did. And then from there, you would be expecting for their actions to match up with their words. A lot of you are bolder now. You can speak your truth now. So they're sitting on the fence. This, these thoughts of the past and how they handled the relationship, the breakup, it's weighing heavily on them. So my awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.